the end of this video, you're going to know the advantages and disadvantages of note taking with Notability and Microsoft OneNote. And at the end of it all, my honest review on which one is the best for students. I'm going to evaluate these applications on three aspects based on my experience on what makes a good note taking application. The first aspect being the general note taking interface, the second aspect being organization of your notes, and the third aspect is accessibility of your notes through different applications and devices. So without any further ado, let's jump into this. All right, firstly, we're going to delve into the general note taking interface and we are going to start with Notability. Now, when I started my note taking with Notability, I was very impressed at the various options that they give you to study and prepare yourself for your tests and exams. Obviously, when it comes to a note taking device, the first thing that you're going to get is tons of different colors and highlighters and Notability does not fall short in this area. As you can see on this paper, there's tons of different colors that I've used with my notes. I have highlighted and in fact, it's a very easy tool to make my notes organized. Next, there's a lasso feature on Notability, which I've seen on multiple different applications where you can take control of a large area of notes and move it around, make it smaller, larger, rotate it. And it's a great feature that's also on Notability. Now, one thing that I was absolutely impressed by Notability, which I don't believe other applications have shown, is something called a tape. And now if you're somebody who has done a lot of studying in topics like chemistry and biology, then you know it's often a huge challenge trying to cover up your notes so you don't see them and uh, you study for them. Now with uh, Notability, they've provided a feature called tape where you cover up your notes so you don't see them and you can study for it. And when you're ready to see if you got it right, or, or at least if you have remembered it correctly, you simply click on it and it appears and then it goes disappeared again. This is an extremely useful and versatile tool when it comes to studying. So you don't have to keep putting on a piece of paper or your hand on your notes so you don't see them. Now, honestly, I haven't seen this on other note taking apps, but it's great that Notability has this. The next feature of Notability that impressed me is how you can split your screen and show two different pages at the same time. Now, of course, you can already do this on the iPad as the general iOS feature, but Notability also allows you to open another page on the Notability app. So you can also take notes at the same time or have two different pages open at the same time. Similarly, you can resize this page, meaning make it larger, smaller, regardless. Now, I'd like to compare the note taking interface in Microsoft OneNote. Now, when it comes to Microsoft OneNote, I believe it may not be as pretty looking as Notability, but it definitely offers the same features and even in some areas more. So evidently you have your multiple colors and highlighters that you can use. For example, here I've written subheading and I'm able to highlight it with the yellow color. Now, I think the colors in Notability are slightly more aesthetic, but as a student, if you're not worried about aesthetics, but you're more worried about the functions that the application provides, then stick around and see what OneNote has to offer. So let's keep going. So OneNote obviously has its own lasso feature where you're able to take control of a lot of different drawings on your paper, resize them, reshape, rotate, etc. I think on Notability, it's a little bit more smooth, but on OneNote, you can do it. It's just not as smooth. Next, something that I wasn't able to figure out on Notability is changing the background on your paper after you've already started it. Additionally, you can turn it into a grid paper after you've used it, which is very useful. All right, the next feature that we're gonna be focusing on is organization of your notes within these applications and also the templates that they offer you. As we're looking at Notability here, there is a wide variety of templates that we can use even as a free student account. There is grid paper, line paper, dotted paper, et cetera, et cetera. And there's even notebooks that you can choose if you were to have the premium version. So Notability absolutely does not fall short here. In fact, they have an excellent array of templates for you to choose and you can even change the color on them, which is just amazing. The next aspect of Notability I'm gonna focus on is how you can organize your notes. For example, I'm sure you don't wanna use Notability as scrap paper, you wanna use it for your notes and your notes have to be organized. So I was messing around on Notability a little bit and I noticed that you can create uh, different subjects and different binders, which is absolutely amazing because then 
then you can organize your notes perfectly and not have to worry about them getting lost. Now, when it comes to Microsoft OneNote, we already talked about how there are different templates that you can set uh, to the background of your notes. So I'm not gonna cover that now, but I'm gonna cover on how you can organize your notes. Since I've been using Microsoft OneNote for my own uh, school, I've come to realize that it's absolutely perfect for organization of my notes. There's nothing complicated. And in fact, it's a pretty simple organization technique. So at the very, very left uh, side of the page, I have my notebook. So I can call this even a chemistry notebook. And then it moves on to two different sides, or at least uh, sections in this notebook. One section I've called it quick notes, another section is notes for all units. And then it goes to specific pages, specific pages. One of them is the 313 topic, 414, and then the biochem index. So as you can see, it breaks down the organization and makes it very easy to follow. Finally, the last feature that we're gonna be focusing on, and I think it's one of the most important features, is accessibility of your notes in these applications through different applications and also through different devices. For example, if you're on your computer, are you able to access your Notability notes? Are you able to access your notes on Microsoft OneNote? Also, if you have a, an image on Google Drive, can you import that image into Notability? Can you import that image into Microsoft OneNote? Those are all the questions that I'm gonna be answering in this section of the video. So let's get started with Notability. Now, Notability is an application that's only found on iPad or Apple. So when it comes to important documents, I don't see an issue with it. You have access to Apple Files, which is the files on your own iPad. And most importantly, you have access to Google Drive. So if you wanna import any files into your Google Drive, you are able to easily import them into Notability. On the other hand, I do think Microsoft OneNote does have the upper advantage in this section because of the fact that Microsoft Office is found on Apple, Windows, your phone, etc., etc. So it's much more accessible. And most importantly, you can upload things into your Microsoft OneNote far easier. For example, when it comes to uploading images to Notability, you do have to at least upload it into your Google Drive and then upload it into Notability. However, I recently discovered this feature on OneNote where you can directly find images on Bing and put them in here. For example, I searched up a picture of the heart anatomy, I found a couple of pictures online and I was able to directly place them onto my OneNote. Much faster and much more versatile. Now, at this section of the video, I'm gonna evaluate the three aspects that we studied in this video and see which application ends up being my favorite for note-taking. Now, when it comes to the note-taking interface, I think a lot of people can agree that Notability is just simply much more aesthetic and helps you organize your notes with multiple different colors. So because of that, I think I'm gonna go with Notability on this one. However, OneNote also offers a lot of different colors. So if you wanna put the extra effort into making your notes more aesthetic, you can definitely achieve the same thing with Microsoft OneNote. Now, the second aspect is organization. This one, I'm gonna give it to OneNote and I already explained why. OneNote just has a phenomenal system of organizing your notes and it makes it extremely easy to add different templates to your paper. Now, the third aspect is accessibility of your notes through different applications and through different devices. This one, I'm gonna give it to Microsoft OneNote because of the fact that most people already have Microsoft Office on their devices and they can more easily access this. All in all, I do think that they are both perfect for note-taking, but with a surface level analysis, I think Microsoft OneNote is my favorite here, but I will do a more in-depth analysis of Notability and where this app specifically stands out. Because obviously Notability is only built for note-taking and it is superior in many different areas that I have not explored here. So let me know your thoughts about what your favorite note-taking app is, or let me know things that I've missed in this video that might change your opinion about these applications. If you learn something of value, do drop a like, it really does help out. I'm gonna be uploading videos every Saturday. So if you don't wanna miss anything out, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.